Hey, welcome everybody to this week's Simple Tech Tips. My name is Chris Mayhew and we are helping you take the stress out of IT. In this week's episode, we're going to really just be focusing on something quick and it's going to be how to change the default web browser for your Mac. Um, you know, your Mac comes with Safari, but in this particular episode, you might want to use something else. Chrome, Firefox, Opera, you name it, Microsoft Edge. And we're going to show you how to quickly do that. All right, so let's get started. All right, so when it comes to web browsers, Safari is a great web browser. I love it, it's lightweight, it's fast. Um, it seems to be the most responsive at any of the web browsers that I tend to use. It obviously holds a huge market share when it comes to mobile devices. However, on a Mac, it doesn't always quite meet the needs of the user. There are those times when you are browsing a website, a lot of times like banking websites, even some older websites, um, you know, I could think about <clears throat> where I live with taxes and whatnot, the state of Nevada is like, oh, you'd have a better experience using Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or uh, Opera, or Mozilla Firefox. Uh, and the reason being is because those are built on a what's called Chromium. So Chromium is an open source software where the, all those web browsers are built on that same coding. And so a lot of websites these days are also built for those in mind. And it's, a lot of it is market share, right, when we think about it. And with that, they have a lot of plugins and capabilities built into them that Safari just doesn't have. But it also means when you're running these um, different web browsers, they are gonna be more resource intensive on the computer. So they're gonna take up more horsepower of your machine while they're in use, especially every time you open a new tab. So if you've got like, if you're a tab browser and you got like 50 tabs open in Google Chrome, you're actually probably using a lot of resources of your machine to, for it to be able to handle that. Now, the, the benefits of changing your default web browser is basically just to make it simple for you. If you look at mine, if you're staring at my dock right now down here at the bottom of the screen, you'll see I have Safari in the recents because I do use it occasionally, but Chrome is actually my default. Um, you know, I have a lot of Google services and things that run through there, so that's another reason why I choose to do that. It makes my life a little bit more simple. So sometimes you might encounter a website or a link maybe in an email or somewhere else on the web, and when you click on it, Safari opens and it probably drives you nuts. Well, this is how you can change that. It's gonna be pretty quick and easy. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go up to your Apple logo and go into your system preferences, or if you have it on your dock, you can open it down on your dock as well. And what we're gonna focus on is this general tab right here, the, the first one in that second row. And so when we click on general here, gives you some of the basic setup and general items for customizing your Mac, but kind of towards the bottom, you'll see there is default web browser. So when you click on that, it will show you all the web browsers that you currently have installed on your computer. So definitely install the web browser you wanna use first because it's not just gonna magically appear there. So you can see I have Microsoft Edge um, on my computer as well. However, it is through parallels. That's the reason why it's got this beautiful little, uh, two little lines here. Um, but mine's Google Chrome. If I switch it over to Safari, that just means anytime I were to click on a link, it's gonna choose Safari and open that up instead. But I prefer Google Chrome, so we'll switch it back to that. And that's it. Once you do that, you're done. You can just close this window and anytime that it, uh, you click on a link or somewhere in your email or anywhere in like Twitter space, whatever it may be, it's gonna choose to open Google Chrome instead of Safari. Thank you for watching. Please click the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with all of our future videos and click the thumbs up to let us know if you like this video. Uh, we also want to hear from you. So use the comment section below uh, if you have any questions on our video or have videos that you'd like to see us create. Uh, we'd love to make something pertinent to you. And thanks for watching.